It's chocolate truffle. <gasps> Ooh, yummy. Where did you get that? If you want to make a chocolate bar, you gotta crack a few cocoa beans. Here are 10 untold truths of Hershey's milk chocolate. A town for the people. Let's build our own. In 1903, Milton Hershey's state-of-the-art chocolate factory was already churning out chocolate. His candy business was in full swing, and the need to expand had facilitated the creation of this factory. Well, when you're an employer that wants to keep his workers around and create a marketing stunt to put your company on the map, what do you do? Well, you build a town, of course. Easy peasy. Hershey, Pennsylvania was founded in 1903 by Milton Hershey as a means to provide his employees with accommodation while they worked at his factory. It had all the modern amenities you would expect from any other town at the time. Electricity, indoor plumbing, and central heating. It had a public transportation system in the form of a trolley and a free vocational school where the community youth could gain an education or explore trades. Hershey's idea was to provide a perfect American town and a bucolic natural setting where healthy, right living, and well-paid workers lived in safe, happy homes. While that's a bit of a mouthful, it's an admirable goal, and Milton Hershey saw to it that his employees, as well as visitors to the town, received everything the modern world had to offer. As of 2020, the population of the town is a little over 13,000, and it's remarkable to think that without the imagination of Milton Hershey, it might still be a patch of untouched ground. Mr. Goodbar Accident Chocolate and Nuts Mr. Goodbar isn't everyone's jam. We get it. Not everyone likes the addition of nuts in their chocolate. In spite of whether you enjoy Mr. Goodbar or not, there is actually an interesting story as to how it came to be named. The Hershey Company was experimenting with different variations of chocolate and nuts, finally landing on a variation of chocolate bar that used deep-fried peanuts. While Milton Hershey was passing out his new creation for his higher-ups to try, it's said that someone remarked, that's a good bar. I'm not hearing you. Milton Hershey was having hearing troubles in his later years, and what he had heard was Mr. Good Bar, and the rest is history. This particular candy bar became an absolute staple during the Great Depression, when food was scarce. The peanuts allowed for a little protein in its consumption and got many families through tough times. It's largely considered to be the first energy bar, as many companies would look at the protein content of the candy as an example of delivering more nutrition than just sugar. So the next time you see that unmistakable yellow wrapper among the Hershey Minis, maybe give it another try. Chocolate Spa Day Spa Day! That was good. What would be your ultimate self-pampering day? Dessert? Relaxation? Why not both? Well, it just so happens that Hershey actually owns a hotel that they rightfully call Hotel Hershey. I mean, what else would they call it? Obviously. The hotel comes with a full-service spa that offers a unique way to relax. The Everything Chocolate Treatments are a line of classic spa services with a bit of a twist. Every option comes with just a bit of indulgence in one form or another. These include a whipped coat cocoa bath, chocolate fondue wrap, and chocolate immersion dips. These may seem like novelties at first, but when you hear what customers are saying, you'll be rushing to book your next weekend. Chocolate is a proven stress reliever and does wonders for relaxing blood vessels. It's even suggested that chocolate can increase skin hydration and elasticity. Chocolate is already in any number of beauty products, so why not take out the middleman and go directly to the source? The spa offers a litany of different services that are sure to please any type of customer visiting the Hotel Hershey. While this spa might sound like a typical brand gimmick, this one falls in the don't knock it till you try it category. The big question though is, are you allowed to eat the chocolate? New to our channel? Then make our day and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Next! Millions of kisses. 100 minus 43. Take the one from the zero. Wait. <gasps> Arguably the most iconic product from the chocolate maker is the Hershey's Kiss. They're consistently one of the top-selling products in the United States during holidays, especially Halloween. In order to meet this insatiable demand for chocolate, the Hershey Company churns out millions of these little morsels every single day. In the time that you've been watching this video, thousands of Hershey Kisses have trundled along the conveyor belt headed to their final destination. How cool is that? At its highest, demand saw the Hershey Company produce 60 million 
million in a single day. Now that's a lot of chocolate. They've been around since 1907, and they're not going anywhere. Hershey Kisses are the ultimate candy, and sales back up that claim. It's said that in any given year, at least 10% of the population ate a Hershey Kiss. And when you consider there's around 8 billion people on this massive rock, those are impressive Perfect. numbers. The school that chocolate built. Go to school, boys. Milton Hershey always had trouble with education. He quit public school when he was in the fourth grade. His story is very much rags to riches when you look at the facts. With only a fourth grade education, he would go on to join the workforce at a young age. He was a member of many failed ventures that spanned a large swath of industries and professions before finally going into the candy business for himself. He scrimped and saved his way to the top, perfecting his craft between odd jobs and the occasional formal employment. Well, it turns out the hard work paid off. Hershey's is a household name the world over, so it came as a major surprise in 1909 when he and his wife, Catherine, decided to open an institution that would later be called the Milton Hershey School. The original incarnation of the school saw it caring for orphaned children, but it has risen above this worthy goal and is now a full-service private institution that is completely cost-free. 100%. 100%. It teaches students from kindergarten all the way to grade 12. On the success of the school, Hershey established a foundation to offer education to those less privileged in the form of scholarships and other learning opportunities. Who knew that the education of thousands of people would come as the result of a chocolate bar? 1893 World's Fair It's evolution! Many sources claim that Milton Hershey was born to be a confectionery magnate. It's not the most common profession, but partners and members of his support system System saw it as a natural extension of his giving nature. There are some who say that the idea for his greatness was always buried deep within, and that might be the case. But oftentimes with greatness, it just needs a little nudge in the right direction. If Milton Hershey had never traveled to the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, we might not have his famous chocolate. It was during this expo that Hershey's eyes were truly open to the limitless nature of the business. One such exhibit of the expo had to do with the wonders of chocolate and different methods of development people were using in the confection business. It's said that this expo had a massive impact on Milton Hershey moving forward and is largely responsible for lighting a fire under his feet and taking his company to the next level. It was after this that Hershey started experimenting with boiled milk in his recipes. And the rest was history. Many of these methods were cutting edge at the time but are now commonplace at the Hershey company. Strange to think that one exhibit launched Milton Hershey Hershey's imagination into the stratosphere. Hershey versus Reese. I want a Reese's, yo. Peanut butter cup. In the United States, Hershey's is probably widely considered as the most popular chocolate brand. Many other companies have tried to take a shot at the king over the years, but no one's ever been able to topple Hershey from atop his chocolate throne. Until recently. However, there is a catch. Reese's peanut butter cups are a fan favorite with its unique bite of peanut butter and its own delicious chocolate recipe. So would it come as a surprise to learn that these two chocolate rivals actually have a deeper history? The Reese's peanut butter cup was invented in 1928 by a man named Harry Burnett Reese. Harry, like Milton, was also fascinated by chocolate, so much so that Harry actually worked for Milton Hershey. It was here that Harry was inspired to work on his own brand and develop another famous candy bar. After this stint at Hershey's, it would be another 11 years before Harry would perfect his cup recipe. The one constant in the peanut butter cup recipe was the use of Hershey's chocolate. It is the best. With a winning recipe in hand, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are now the top-selling chocolate in America, and they still contain Hershey's chocolate. If you're going to do only one thing, you better do it well. And that's precisely what Harry Reese did. Hershey Park It's like an amusement park! After you start a multi-million dollar business, build a town, a school, and inspire others, what's the next step? Well, logic dictates that your next order of business is building an amusement park. Did we lose you? Well, if there's anything that Milton Hershey was, it was unpredictable. Hershey Park became an extension of the town that Milton had originally built for his employees. And in 1905, the first official visitor to the Hershey Park arrived. Things were much different back then. The park was originally designed to be a nature reserve where employees of the factory could escape from the worries of daily living and get out into nature. As Hershey's empire grew, so too did the scale of his projects. The park started to schedule more diverse and attractive events like 
like live music, sporting events, and fairs. Certain rides and events became mainstays until Milton Hershey could deny it no longer. He was in the amusement park business. Oops. For the town's 20th anniversary, Milton ordered a roller coaster to be made by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company and placed in his park. The growth has not stopped in the years since, and now the park boasts some of the biggest and most unique attractions in the entire country. From humble beginnings come great things, and Hershey Park is the perfect example. Hershey's was on the front lines. Do you want to go to war, Malaki? During World War II, the globe was turned on its head. Never before had we seen the mobilization of so many many armed forces on such a grand scale. With elevated conflict comes new challenges, however. One such challenge was logistics. Weapons, personnel, and supplies now had to be moved halfway around the world on a schedule that would make a mailman faint. Without a permanent supply line, armies could become cut off from the provisions that they needed the most. Many American companies stepped forth to offer their solutions for meeting wartime demand. It was at this time that the American workforce shifted to a much different economy Food, clothing, and all manner of other supplies that would normally be going to consumers were now going to soldiers. Hershey's chocolate was not immune to this surge in demand. As a result, Hershey's manufactured chocolate bars for the Army's K-rations, making sure that every soldier who grabbed one would have something of a small reprieve from the conflict at hand. Chocolate? CHOCOLATE! Hershey's produced millions of units of this proprietary blend of chocolate, which was said to withstand extreme temperatures while giving the soldiers a small taste of home. Here's a little extra Hershey's bonus before we get to the top spot. But before we get to it, if you love everything chocolate, then how about subscribing to our channel and joining the other Babbletop Chocoholics? Now, do you love Hershey's and want to get a closer look behind the scenes and can't make it to Pennsylvania? Well, don't worry, there are numerous locations around the U.S. and the world that offer a glimpse into the storied history of Hershey's. Try visiting Hershey's Chocolate World in Times Square, New York for the next best thing if you can't make it out to Hershey Park. Other notable locations include Las Vegas and Singapore. There's enough chocolate to go around, so don't worry. Now, the top untold truth of Hershey's milk chocolate. A Titanic voyage. Titanic go to America in five minutes. Unless you've been living under a rock, chances are are that you've at least heard of the Titanic. And don't worry, many people hadn't heard of the ship before James Cameron's movie of the same name. It was a massive tragedy and loss in world history as the gigantic ocean freighter sank after colliding with an iceberg about halfway to its destination. What resulted was the worst maritime disaster to date. Well, it comes as a great surprise to find out that Milton Hershey had taken his wife for a winter getaway in France. And for their trip home, they were scheduled to travel on the ill-fated vessel. Written records show that Milton Hershey had put money down on two tickets aboard the ship, and there's no report as to why he never made it aboard. Yes, we'll never know for sure. He instead traveled aboard a German-made vessel that would see him returned safely home after his vacation. It's strange to think that a tragedy of this caliber could have robbed the world of one of its brightest philanthropists and visionaries of his time. Well, you dodged a bullet, homeboy. Tap or click to enjoy another one of our great videos and show us some love by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell.